Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is all about how Chelsea Football Club are going to score goals in the Premier League this season under Frank Lampard. But before we do get into today's content, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single day and I don't want you guys to miss out on any content. I usually ask at the end of the video, but you know what, if you're a returning visitor to my channel, I'd like to ask, like this video please, because if you've been enjoying the content, it means a lot, like the video. Right then, today's video is on how Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club are going to score goals in the Premier League. Now, why am I doing this video? Well, it's kind of <laughs> a massive reason, really. Well, there's two. The first reason is Chelsea do not have an elite striker. Now, no disrespect to the free strikers that Chelsea have on their books. They've all got something to offer in their own way. A couple of them perhaps may be untested, but Chelsea don't have that guaranteed 20 to 25 league goal of the season striker that chips in 10 assists or whatever. So that's one. And the second point should be quite obvious. Chelsea no longer have Eden Hazard, who contributed to 49% of Chelsea's league goals last season. He's gone. So that leaves us with a bit of a conundrum for Frank Lampard. I mean, there are promising signs. Certainly pre-season has dictated that Chelsea are now going to distribute the goals from all over the pitch, or certainly midfield, wide forwards, maybe a bit from the strikers. So that is important. And in today's video, I'm going to speculate, <laughs> all right, how many goals certain players will get and assist. So essentially how many goal contributions each player. Now, okay, I'm not gonna do any of the back line and I'm not gonna do Jorginho and Kante and Kovacic. Okay, just saying that now. Fullbacks might get goals, maybe. You know, maybe Jorginho, we've seen Jorginho score a lovely long range goal. We've saw Kante chipping with goals last season. And you know what, I was tempted to include Kante, but because I imagine he's gonna reside deeper in the pitch this season, I wanted to talk about players that are maybe expected to contribute offensively. So the back line, they get a pass, you know, they can defend, maybe get some assists, maybe chip in with the odd goal. So what I'm gonna do today, it's not the total of what Chelsea are gonna score goals in the league. It's just what hopefully certain players that are expected to have an offensive contribution, what I'm just gonna speculate and assume they might get. Second disclaimer. This is just me talking to you guys about my opinions on the players and what maybe I would expect. So I'm literally going to come up with a number for goals and assists and contributions now. This, because I'm not doing the defensive line, there might be a bit of licensing here for me to be loose but i was gonna if i did every single player it probably wouldn't add up i mean there might because i'm guessing there might be more assists than goals do you know what i mean so i'm only going to do certain players and i'm literally just going to sort of speculate and predict how many goals and assists they're going to get in the premier league this season right so i'm going to pull up the statistics page and one by one i'm going to guess goal and assist so on that let's look at some numbers okay let's start with the strikers let's start with olivier Giroud. now <laughs> i don't think he's going to score that many goals in the premier league this season i think he's a very good and useful player for chelsea but i think he might be deployed more in the champions league i think he can do quite good in europe i know he dominated the europa league last season and i know that the champions league's a whole different kettle of fish but i still think he might do better there but you know what i'm going to say in the premier league this season i reckon Giroud will get seven goals and five assists now i'm giving him five assists which i think is quite not generous but he shows that he's unselfish and the way he got i think he got a decent amount of assists in last year's campaign because he'd always lay off to Hazard. He'd be that bouncing block. So I'm going to say seven goals and five assists for Olivier Giroud. Next striker, Tammy Abraham. Now, Tammy's not had the most prolific preseason. I mean, we're yet to play I'm watching Gladbach. We'll see what he does there. But I feel like he's going to be used and he's going to be used in a, a two striker system, sometimes leading the line by himself. I don't think he's going to have a prolific season. I think he's going to have a good season. I think Tammy Abraham's going to score 10 goals and get, he doesn't really get assists, so 10 goals and 3 assists from Tammy Abraham, which I'd be happy with. 
first top tier, you know, sharing the leading line with other strikers, double figures for goals, uh, three assists, Tammy Abraham. Right, moving on to the third and final striker, Michi Batshuayi. I feel like he's going to have a similar output to, um, to Tammy in terms of goals and assists. So, I feel like he might do ever so slightly better. I feel like Michi Batshuayi might get 13 goals and 3 assists. So, slightly better, a bit more experience than Tammy at the top level, in better form in pre-season and might be a bit more prolific. So not huge numbers from the strikers, but between the three of them, I think that's pretty decent. By the way, as this video goes along, let me know your thoughts down in the comments on each player if you think I'm overestimating or I'm not doing the players justice. Get involved, let me know your thoughts, guys. So let's move on to some wide forwards, starting with Pedro, who scored maybe the most stylish goal of his career. I've talked about Pedro before in this channel and how he scores world-class goals. Man, that goal. Anyway, I think Pedro will do it well. I don't think he'll get double figures. I reckon he'll get, he'll be in rotation with the other wingers, so it'll be hard. I think Pedro will get eight goals and two assists, which is decent enough for Pedro. Um, Eight goals, two assists, I think that's fair considering the rotation and what generally he usually gets. Right, which brings us on to Willian, who divides opinion in the Chelsea fan base. Um, again, he's moving over, theoretically, to his native left wing position. So cutting in on his right might score more goals. Generally always scores less goals than Pedro. But I think in the league this season, Willian is going to score eight goals and get four assists. Which would be decent, considering Chelsea are no longer just relying on, you know, those two wingers, Eden Hazard. I think that would be good enough from Willian. Right, Callum hudson Adoy. He's recovering from injury, but it looks like he'll be ready very, very soon. Um, and it looks like if the way Frank's talking about him and he wants him to sign this new contract, which should be imminent, he's going to make him an integral figure in the team. Um, hopefully in the Premier League and not, you know, the, just the Champions League group stages or whatever. So... Let's hope he makes himself an important figure in the first team under Frank Lampard. Off the wing, first senior proper domestic season in the league campaign. I think if Callum hudson Adoy, I think for him to get nine goals and five assists, be very happy with that. Nine goals, five assists, Callum hudson Adoy once he makes himself a starter in the Premier League. All right, so you can see already with me like guessing, I'm being, I'm not being overly generous to these players, but I'm sort of distributing it thinly. And we haven't even got to the midfield yet, which I think might be very uh, a great contribution. So maybe I don't know. If, I'm wondering if I'm being overambitious, but still, this is just what I think that comes naturally to my head when I think of these players. So Captain America, Christian Pulisic, who looked very, very good last time out in preseason, he's obviously fit, rowing to go, and I imagine he'll be starting against Manchester United. And I'm going to do a match preview of that game, so next week, I think. Anyway, I think he's going to do well. Pulisic's never been, like, a goal scorer, like a proper goal scorer, like, mega numbers. He's very, very talented and dynamic and offers a lot to the team, but I think his offensive numbers will go up. Um, I think Pulisic's going to score uh, 11 goals, and I think he's going to get 5 assists. Decent. If you guys are keeping score, counting these up, let me know how much I get to, because... I hope I'm not going to like tally up to Man City numbers. No, surely not. Surely not. Now, these will probably be good numbers for Chelsea. What an interesting video this is becoming. <laughs> right, so the strikers and wingers are done. Let's look to the midfield where I think Chelsea can do bits. Now, the only midfielders I'm going to be using in this, I'll just mention three. So, I'm going to do Mason Mount, Ross Barkley, and Ruben Loftus Cheek when he returns from injury. Because I'm just trying to think on the top of my head. I don't think Pakioko I want to involve in this video. I don't think Danny Drinkwater I'm going to involve in this video. And then Kovacic, Kante, and Jorginho, defensive line, not really expect to score goals. So, even though there might be one or two in there, I'm going to leave them out. So, let's start with the injured Ruben Loftus Cheek, who will be out for a little while. He is a beast, and when he was playing in the pitch in the Premier League last season, his goal contributions are very good, certainly contributions to minutes. So, sadly, he won't get a whole season, but what well, we can assume he gets like half a season, maybe? Or like six months, five months, maybe? Six league goals and four assists, so ten league uh, con goal contributions. 
Yeah, I reckon that's fair for Ruben off this cheek. Mason Mount. Now, the thing is with Mason Mount, I think he's excellent. He's Frank Lampard's like surrogate son. He bloody loves him when it comes to playing his way. He knows how to play. He's very good and he can move uh, to different positions on the pitch. He is certainly a goal threat. He got decent, um, I think he scored nine goals last season, got four assists, four assists. So I feel like he won't be the golden boy from the midfield anymore, but I still think he can get the numbers and he'll bang them. And you know what? I, even though it's a step up to the Premier League and with more difficult opposition, I still feel, I, I rate, I'm gonna say he can do the same. I think Mason Mount can score nine goals. Again, why not? And score um, and get four assists. Nine goals and four assists. Frank Lampard wants his midfielders to score goals. Frank Lampard's a goal scoring midfielder. That's what he's gonna look to have his midfielders be doing. So yeah, I reckon that's fair for Mason Mount and he can do it. Which leads me on to Ross the Boss Barkley, the man of preseason that's been in scintillating form and looks like for my money, unless he has an absolute horror show uh, in Germany, <laughs> which like, you know, I've been hyping him up loads. Swords Law, he's probably gonna have like an absolute nightmare in the, in the final preseason game. I think Ross Barkley can be beast. Um, I think he's gonna get a lot of assists actually as well. He's a good number 10 who can shoot from range. But I think Ross Barkley, I reckon he can get loads of assists. I'm gonna go nuts on this. And maybe it's on the hype train, but I'm gonna say Ross Barkley, 10 goals and 11 assists. Bam, I'm just on the hype train. I've just said it, 10 goals, 11 assists. That might sound mental to you, but why not? He looks like he's going for it. He's occupying the right space to score goals. He can score direct free kicks. Apparently he's playing amazing di long diagonals for assists for runners in behind, like Pulisic or hudson Adoy, or just short, um, you know, left wing passes when someone's breaking the lines or splitting the defender. So I think he can get a lot of assists you know, if he stays in good form and stays in good health. So that's where we're gonna leave it on the players. So on that, that's enough of the numbers. Right guys, this is an interesting video. It's basically me talking out loud and expressing my opinions to you guys on how I think the players could perform. Like, like I said, I haven't come up with you know, an XG or a performance tally of how many goals Chelsea can score and try to distribute them without the team, throughout the team rather. That's why I've left a few players out to, you know, in case there's some discrepancies in my numbers. But I've looked at perhaps key offensive players and talked about how I think how good they can go. Now what's interesting is I don't think any striker is going to do incredibly well, like not more than 13 league goals, which is fine because there's rotation, there's competition. And what's important in the Premier League now is the strikers might be marked out the game, but Frank Lampard is an elite offensive midfielder. Therefore, he's going to be a coach for elite offensive midfielders. Do you know what I mean? Is That's what he's going to look for. And I think that could be incredibly effective in the Premier League this season. So I think a lot of the goals will be distributed from inverted forwards, attacking midfielders, number 10s, as well as, you know, the strikers learning to be selfless and you know, play the ball into the midfielders. So it's a really interesting tactical approach, I guess, or just speculating how the league's gonna go. It's really exciting. It's certainly gonna be very different. Let me know what you guys think. Get down in the comments below. Do you think, um, you know, I've been unfair to some players or do you think I've been overly ambitious about such a big distribution of goals? Um, do you think it's just me getting hyped on preseason? Let me know, get down in the comments and yeah, express your thoughts. I'd like to reiterate, please like the video if you've enjoyed the content and please, yeah, subscribe if you are new guys. Also, it's worth mentioning and me plugging that you can support my channel and get involved with Q and A's by becoming a patron to my Patreon. I do a couple of um, Q and A videos uh, a month where I answer your, your guys' questions and uh, it's a bit more of like an intimate chat thing and it costs one dollar a month. So why don't you hit that up and you know what, follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, uh, on Twitter. Um, I've got a few thousand followers on Twitter but my Instagram's dead as hell so follow me on Instagram, at Football Yannick. Right, that is enough from me today guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby